Okay guys, I just have to tell you this. Oh, so this morning I was very tired as you can tell and my mood is just going up and up like this. This is even better than what I could have imagined. Good evening, guys, from my hotel in Muscat. I am about to head to Muscat Airport to catch a Qatar Airways business class flight to Doha and then on to Bangkok. All right. Welcome to the incredibly stunning Muscat Airport. This is the new terminal. Look down there, on the air side part, they have palm trees. What is going on? And there's a beautiful, beautiful Oman Air. Oof, 787 over there. But let's go check in and also check out the terminal a bit more. Well, okay, that was a surprise. That priority lounge in the new Muscat Airport was the best priority lounge I've been in in my entire life. And honestly, one of the best like airport lounges. It rivals many first class lounges, if not better, just given the fact that they have eight first come first serve beautiful bedrooms with tarmac views. I mean, they could charge like $150, $200 per night for each of those rooms. And what's crazy is that anyone with priority pass gets access to those. So if you, you know, don't have it already, check out the links below. I've put some information, especially if you're in Sweden. There's a few great cards that will give you access. And then just included in your annual fee, you get a membership and you get so, so much value out of transferring here. It's crazy. And now, anyway, I'm so excited to be getting on my Qatar flight. This is just like one amazing thing after the next. And I'm just, this is so, so awesome. And check this out. Okay, it just keeps getting better, it turns out. So there's 64 passengers on board, and I am the only person in business slash first class as they sell it here in the Middle East. So this should be a good one. Double jetways. We see the Latam plane from here. I just recorded a video saying this, but it's really, really crazy how Qatar is truly in its own league. And if you want to be, like, if you don't want to be spoiled forever, don't fly them because you'll weigh every other airline experience against it. And it's just so hard. Even these first few minutes, we're just pushing back for a second, and you just notice the difference. Make sure you stay for the end of the video where I'll be going through everything that makes the Qatar Airways experience so incredible. So on this uh, one and a half hour flight, we also have these beautiful noise cancelling headphones for the entertainment system. Now I've spoken about Qatar's entertainment system before. Uh, personally, I think it's one of the two best in the world along with Emirates' ICE system, the Qatar Oryx One is truly incredible.
let's not waste time. I want to enjoy as much as I can on this flight. So let's look through the menu and keep in mind that it is Ramadan. So they do have this luxury alcohol-free bubbly. On intra-Middle Eastern flights, they are not serving any alcohol. While on long-haul flights, they do serve alcohol once in the sky. Check out all the juices. Just the drink selection is so impressive on this one and a half hour flight. This is breakfast on Qatar and you can tell because we have some Middle Eastern dishes. I love, love, love this eggplant dish. I forget what it's called except that it begins with an M. And then we have some dolmas. It looks quite good although it's not so big. The fruit looks good too. Twelve seconds later. Okay, food is done. It was incredible. Top three meals, but given how well everything is going so far on this flight, I guess you're not surprised that this was one of my top three, or maybe top five airplane meals. But yeah, so people are saying that Qatar is cost cutting. Uh, like some people on flyer talk and stuff. And I just don't see it. I still get the feeling that there's no expenses spared. So, of course, there is no amenity kit on this flight. I don't know if there ever was. It's quite a short flight, so you don't really need it. But, yeah, you can just sense the quality of the ingredients. It's the pillow, the blankets. It's all so, so top-notch. So, if this is what cost-cut Qatar looks like, I'm fine with that. Okay. So, now we're going to learn how to pour Arabic coffee properly. <laughs> okay, so, so what's the first step? Well, first uh, we ask permission if you are interested for the Arabic coffee. If yes, then we pour for you. After we done, it should be a little bit, not that much. Then we made the song and then we serve it. And the last one is like a tray, so we never gave it to customers. Let's just have a little look around the seat. There's this is like obviously not Qatar's seat, it's Latam. So this is what you can expect if you fly Latam. And as you can see, the leg room is amazing. Lots and lots of room. There is a storage compartment under here with plenty of room to put stuff. The tray table comes up there, and then we have USB charging over there with a little sort of pocket where you can put your phone down there. Considering that this aircraft is a year and a half old, I'm quite shocked that the entertainment controls are this, or the seat controls are this rough. And then Qatar has this stunning pillow. It's so, so big. Uh, and this huge blanket as well. All right, we are approaching Doha, and I have to say, so even though this was a Latam aircraft, this seat is actually great, especially if you're traveling with someone or if you have the cabin to yourself. It's just fantastic. Secondly, the soft product, everything from the service to the food has been just... So if I think of a scale here, I'm like this is average, maybe European airlines, this is the average US airline, uh, maybe the better airlines are up here, Qatar is literally up here. The difference is so, so big in just the training that they give their crews, the quality of the service, the authenticity and genuineness that the crews manage to portray. Like, I just don't understand how they do it. Uh, and it's been such a pleasure. I got to play around, like this was my playground for the past 90 minutes, uh, which is of course an Ab Geek stream, especially in an A350. And uh, just seeing the pride and the joy that these employees have in their company and how you know much pleasure it brings them to offer such a good product, it's truly incredible. And I hope you all get the chance to experience Qatar, whether it is through miles or through a paid booking like I did this time. Because Qatar often have very, very attractive fares. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please watch my continuation on the E380 to Bangkok because it seems like that flight will be quite empty too. Okay, so I'm just editing the video now and I'm like, Daniel, what the F?
like the entire video I didn't explain what was actually so good about the service. I'm just ranting on and on like Qatar is amazing but I don't actually get to the point. Basically what sets Qatar's service apart is the insane level of personalization that is possible. Firstly, you come on board and the flight attendant that will be taking care of you comes up to you and says, Hello Mr. Gauze, uh, welcome on board Qatar, it's our pleasure to have you here. My name is X and I will be taking care of you today, so if there's anything I can help you with, please don't hesitate to ask. Uh, may I start to get you a welcome beverage, whatever you'd like from the menu, and uh, would you like a hot or cold towel? So, you know, I go crazy for that. I choose usually lemon mint on Qatar and then hot or cold towel, depending on how I'm feeling. If I'm feeling spicy, I'll choose a cold one. But, oh my god, basically, then the purser will come around and greet each passenger individually. On this flight, it was obviously only me. And they say, hi, my name is this, um, and I will be taking care of the flight today. So if you have any concerns about the crew or any questions, anything you'd like to know, just don't hesitate to ask me. So two people introduce, oh, not four, two people introduce themselves. And it's just that type of thing that I personally love. It makes it feel like you're so, so valued and it makes a great start to the flight. Then the flight attendants come back with your beverage, your towel, and they say, um, Mr. Gauze, may I show you around your seat, the entertainment system perhaps, if there's anything you're unfamiliar with. Then when that's done, two other crew members come around offering you Arabic coffee. And as you saw in the video, I actually had a demonstration of how the Arabic coffee pouring works and I just love it so much. So that's a small sample of how elaborate and incredible and luxurious and personalized the service can be on Qatar. So I have a little more information as well. Apparently amenity kits are offered on flights over three hours. So to Beirut, Amman, things like that, that's the minimum and India for amenity kits. I have to say thank you for making this possible because I just, if you had told me that I'd be doing this three years ago, that I'd be on Qatar, now I'm just so, so grateful for you guys watching me, for you guys supporting me, and that I get to travel in this fascinating region. In the next review. Alrighty, here is the seat on air Italy.